Good morning, Ajahn John here. Today I am going to talk about whether we have too much pleasure in the modern world. In the picture you can see a rather plump woman, plump, P-L-U-M-P, working her way through an enormous amount of junk food while using her laptop maybe to chat with friends on Facebook or look for some trivial information trivial T-R-I-V-I-A-L in addition she has what looks like a soft drink maybe Coke or Pepsi so the food we can see includes french fries I think what looks like uh, pizza, yes pizza and hamburgers so in today's world we do have the opportunity to pursue much more pleasure than we did in the past there are shopping malls, movies, radio, TV restaurants, discos or tantalizingly tantalizingly offering different kinds of pleasure tantalize T-A-N-T a-L-I-S-E I know the first thing many people do when they wake up in the morning is to turn on their phone or laptop to find out who has been liking their comments or pictures on Facebook or find out about the latest gossip this is all thrilling and exciting thrilling then when we are on the way to university or to our work we can scroll our iPhone to find out more titillating news titillating news we spend several hours each day watching TV watching exciting movies and TV series we can go to bars in the evening and get drunk or go dancing in discotheque we can dream about buying a luxury car and walk past the shop windows looking at our favorite models so is there too much pleasure available to people is the amount of pleasure actually making our lives worse I think clearly we can see that sometimes it does because <clears throat> the woman in the picture for example is damaging her health by eating too much and also eating the wrong kind of food so if she ends up in hospital with some serious medical complaint then she will regret having eaten this stuff and we could also say the same about watching TV or spending too much time on a computer which can damage our eyes these activities can also give rise to negative feelings we can feel jealous, envious if we are not getting the things we want or we see other people getting more than us I have heard for example that many people who use Facebook do not enjoy life so much because they always feel that other people are getting more than they are so clearly we can see a strong need for self-discipline we can enjoy pleasure but we need to choose carefully what pleasures we pursue and to what extent the fact is there is a more or less correct quantity of food that we should eat every day and if we exceed this we will both damage our health and also we become bored eating is most pleasurable pleasurable when you are hungry but if you, but if you keep on eating and eating you may think you are enjoying it but actually you are just putting food in your mouth without really tasting it or enjoying it and we can clearly see there are many activities which are quite negative for our lives smoking, drinking, taking drugs, dangerous sex <coughs> many people may feel themselves battling with their desires 
in such a tempting world and the efforts of self-control may sometimes me be more painful than the possible pleasure people living in a simpler world may actually be happier because they are free of all these temptations poor people i notice often have a healthier and purer lifestyle all bay it's all bay it's forced on themselves forced on them by poverty forced on them by poverty so let's do this essay question do you think there is too much pleasure in the modern world so first paragraph introduction there are, there is undoubtedly an enormous amount of pleasure available in contemporary times shopping malls movies tv iPhones, restaurants offering every kind of food, and clothes shops offering every kind of exciting garment. If you have enough money, you can certainly satisfy every dream. Moving on to the second paragraph, I think I'm going to support that there is too much pleasure. So this is going to be the main paragraph. Let's begin. Yes, I think it is clear that there is too much possible pleasure in the modern world and it is making people unhappy. Unhappy either because they don't have enough money to buy all these pleasures or they do have enough money and they either become bored or these pleasures lead them to have negative experiences. Smoking, drinking, taking drugs, for example, at first may give people excitement and happiness but inevitably inevitably lead to pain i have a friend who has been smoking for 20 years sorry let's change that i'm going to use the past perfect tense so i have a friend who had been smoking for 20 years when he found out he had a lung cancer when the doctor gave him this diagnosis he felt like the world had come to an end all his pleasure and happiness disappeared in a second and from that day on there was only worry and regret he has told me many times that he wished he had never started smoking there are many other examples of people who, having gained their utmost desires, utmost desires, either do not feel satisfied or even have extremely negative feelings. Another of my friends always dreamt of having a very expensive car. He worked very hard for many years to save the money to buy this incredible automobile however within a few days of driving it he felt that his achievement was quite shallow it seemed that the dream was a lot more exciting than the reality when he looked back on all those years of hard work and personal sacrifice he felt that maybe he could have enjoyed life a lot more with a less fantastic dream moving now to the third paragraph so saying something in support of pleasure on the other hand many people have moved out of poverty into a situation of relative comfort in the modern world people who did not have enough food to eat every day now have three meals per day for them, the additional pleasure they have nowadays is certainly not too much. Being able to have a comfortable and safe home, enough food and a decent education are very reasonable pleasures for people on low incomes. Last paragraph, conclusion. In conclusion, it is quite clear there is too much pleasure available in the modern world and if people truly want to be happy they need to be careful about what they wish for and how they spend their money every day 
that is the end of the essay. So what kinds of pleasure do you think you pursue which may not be positive and do you scrutinize, scrutinize your desires? I notice when I take a bus ride in Bangkok I see many people using their iPhones scrolling down looking at messages on Facebook etc whereas I like to either look out of the window at the passing scenery or look at those people using their iPhones I like to observe the world around me and I get a great deal of pleasure and stimulation from this activity as well as exercising the eyes moving your eyes around the environment looking at objects at different distances is better for your eyes than looking at something a few centimeters away from your face all the time so I don't feel tempted to scroll down and my iPhone I don't see this as a source of pleasure but clearly many people do but I have to wonder whether they really are making a decision here or whether they are being controlled by their own technology sometimes when the, pass, the bus is passing something interesting at the side of the street they fail to notice and don't even know that they are failing to notice personally I find pleasure in simple things uh, a walk in the park enjoying being healthy and being able to eat a tasty meal without it being excessive enjoy watching a movie without spending too much time in front of the box and enjoy using my computer in what I feel is a productive way and defi definitely not allowing the computer to use me. Okay students, bye for now.